Uh, my name is Paul Bedford, uh, former chief planner in the City of Toronto and uh, now uh, adjunct professor of urban planning at U of T and Ryerson, among other things. Well, I was chief planner for uh, eight years uh, of the old city of Toronto and then the amalgamated city. And I worked under eight different mayors throughout my career and probably a hundred or more councillors. And uh, my primary role as chief planner was city building. It, it, there are two fundamental jobs that a planner has in my view. And one is to provide solutions to current problems and develop ideas for the future. And you have to do both of those. So um, the apartment industry and the condos and rental housing um, of all forms for all ages fits into that very, very much. We have a huge housing problem today. You know, we have 100,000 people a year coming into the region. They have to live somewhere. Uh, we have a massive shortage of uh, affordable rental housing. So that's current problem that's not going away. And the ideas for the future are, are about uh, city building. It's about where are the best sites, the best locations for uh, new apartment development. And not just in the city of Toronto, but throughout the whole region, and in fact, throughout cities in the province. And what I'm gonna be talking about in my panel is one of those pieces of that solution is the mixed use mid-rise buildings on the main streets. So, but a little over a year ago, I wrote a report for BUILD um, that recommended amending the Ontario Building Code to allow for up to six stories to be constructed a wood frame. Right now it's only four stories. British Columbia and Quebec have already done all that. And it's made a huge difference on affordability, on the uh, development of mid-rise buildings on the main streets throughout their respective municipalities. And it has huge potential for uh, not only Toronto, but for cities throughout Ontario. I was just reading the paper this morning and uh, the uh, average price of the detached house is nudging a million dollars apparently. And I think the practical realities are that for most people, uh, apartments, whether they're rental or condo, you know, is the uh, logical choice. And uh, especially um, for younger people who want to work and live downtown and walk to work. So many people are trading in this endless hour and a half, two hour commute nonsense for the ability to walk to work. And uh, it's the urban lifestyle. And uh, I, I think there's tremendous opportunities as uh, witnessed in the city of Toronto. I think we have 150 cranes in the air, give or take, right now, uh, largest in North America. And I think that'll continue, frankly, because uh, um, it makes sense from a lifestyle perspective, an economic perspective, and uh, uh, so I, I think if you're in the apartment industry, there's a good future ahead.